Gotta be the hardest working guy before when it comes to putting on shows and everything else. Uh, he's, yeah, we'd be uh, lost without having Dane here. Uh, he's done the ska world and the uh, British Columbia music listening world uh, a massive service by putting on show after show and show. A lot of the events I've been involved in are grassroots efforts where they're underground bands, and they're not huge names, and they wouldn't necessarily do well unless there was a promoter or a group of people that really wanted to give them proper attention and really try and get the word out and have a personal touch with um, people in the community trying to get them to hear their music or whether it's film or it's, um, you know, literature. Um, getting that exposed arts exposed to them. I love Dan. Uh, I think he's fabulous. He's a great guy. Uh, and nothing but respect for him and uh, always positive attitude and always fun. Even when the chips are sent down sometimes and the show might not go over and may not be pulling in uh, ticket sales. He's always upbeat and always something good to say and always doing something for somebody else. So give her not a take or I respect him. Welcome to Toyota. Enigmatica Entertainment, it's like a community development entity. Um, we've involved tons of people in the community, um, organizing shows, helping out um, different community events. There's been about, oh, there's numerous people that have been involved in Enigmatica Entertainment. It's a name we came up with when I was in high school to mean out of this world and kind of a mysterious, but also like a, a kind of an oasis. like meeting different people. I thought it was fun. I, you know, I mean, it was interesting to deal with budgets and stuff and the excitement, getting people to come. And, you know, I really liked the music that, you know, that I was promoting. And in high school, I got some opportunities to promote music that wouldn't have been promoted otherwise had I not gotten involved. And so, yeah, I, I got really passionate about doing it then. And then after that, probably when I was about 19, I started promoting all ages concerts and some in bars at UVic and um, just all around Victoria. Well, I mean, music is like food, you know? I mean, it's like when I, when I really like some music, I think of it as like eating a really nice dinner. I mean, it energizes me, you know, it keeps me going, it keeps my mind off a lot of the the, the grind things that happen in daily life, bills and, you know, rent and all those kind of things. It keeps, keeps me in a positive state. Hey, Paul, what's up? How, How are you doing? Man? Good, good. <laughs> One of the big things with music, promoting music, is that the, the communities it makes, the, the friendships it makes, you know, and a lot of those friendships are long lasting. And that's one of the main things that's a spice of life, you know, that's the main thing. So um, whether it be, you know, just for fun purposes or it's political views, environment, whatever, a lot of those things, your music attracts um, like-minded individuals. 